Hi friends, and welcome to my YouTube channel, What Would Jason Do?, where we both ask and try to answer the age-old question, what would Jason do? I'm Jason, and today, we're going places. My name is Jason, and I have a vision. As an artist, what I see in nature and in the world inspires me. As an essential worker, my job is to help preserve the sight of others. This requires travel, something that takes me at times far from my family, the ones I love most. But I'm taking these two visions and pulling them into sharp focus, both seeing the wonders of our world and sharing them with you. All right, so again, welcome back. I really appreciate you being here on the channel for the very first video that I'm gonna upload in a segment that I call Going Places. Now, I wanna say again, if you didn't see my previous post and video, that I am an essential worker and I make these videos in conjunction with trips that I take to other places. And I'm gonna put up a whole video that sort of just gives more of a background on that subject. It's gonna be its own thing. I'll also be posting videos in another recurring segment that I have where I tell stories about my past. Um, I've got some pretty funny, crazy, and just otherwise entertaining stories that I hope you'll enjoy. I've always loved photography and taking pictures, so many of these stories, even from a really long time ago, will have pictures that go with them, which I think will be kind of a really cool aspect to the storytelling genre. That and more is coming up, but for today, we're going places, and today's trip is going to be the Hawaiian Islands, specifically Oahu. This is part one, packing up, taking the trip, getting there and seeing a few spots, and just sort of settling in. And then next week, part two will premiere, and that's just going to be a lot more exploration. So it should be a lot of fun. Please subscribe to the channel. It does not cost you anything. It's not a subscription in that way. Um, it just tells the algorithm that this is a place that's good to come to. So please do that. Also, just, just devastate the like button. Just, just hit it. Just hit that like button. Like the video. Comment. I'd love to know if you've been to Hawaii, uh, if you've seen some of the places that we've gone to here in this video, and maybe some places that you have been that aren't here and loved, and even just some places you might like to see. Uh, maybe they're coming up in the next video. Let's get the conversation going. And for now, enjoy Oahu. So one of my favorite things about this airport is that it's so small, it's easy to get through, that I got through ticketing and security in less than 10 minutes. It's really amazing, but it's not even my favorite part. Okay, so here we go. Favorite part of this tiny airport, walking onto the tarmac to board your airplane. It's an amazing experience that harkens back to the early days of flight, and I'm telling you, it never loses its luster. see behind me a lot more security getting in to show your QR code and get uh, checked in temperature the whole thing no problem the line was the longest thing so they said take any full-size car you want so we've got Nissan 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 and well, what do we have here yes please
Okay, out of the airport, out of the shuttle, out of the rental car place, and out of this mask for now anyway. So I think we'll just dive right in and go to Chinatown. Sound like fun? An interesting fact I found out about Chinatown is although it was founded in the 1840s, most of the buildings here date from around 1900 to 1920. And that's because in 1899 there was an outbreak of bubonic plague. At first an attempt was made to cordon off the city and not let anybody leave. When that didn't work, they tried burning down one of the infected buildings, which quickly became out of control. And in what became known as the Great Fire of 1899, most of Chinatown just burned to the ground. Only a few buildings survived the Great Blaze. Made it to the hotel and <whistles> trunks are on. It's about four o'clock, so there's a little bit of daylight left. Gonna take advantage of that. It's 85 degrees here. I'm gonna take advantage of that as well. This is the hotel with a view, a city view they call this. And this is the city that I will be viewing <laughs> for the next couple days. And here's the room, very small. Uh, Foxy likes it though. This is Foxy, everybody. Our whole family has a fox, every one of us. And when anyone goes on a trip, the fox goes with. Anything that's gone on, I've, Foxy's been there. We've got a cute little kitchenette here, tiny little sink and a little prison stall shower. Also have things packed away. Um, I, two reasons for that. I like to kind of have a feeling of being settled when I get somewhere, and this does that. But also, we're going with one backpack for a week. So this one backpack is going multi-purpose, and right now it needs to come with me to the beach because it's holding my towel. Masks are required within the building, so my little friend's coming back with me as well. Uh, I'm also seeing a lot of people wearing them in the streets. I'm vaccinated, but I like to have an abundance of caution as well as respect for the people around me. So I'll probably be wearing this while I'm out and about, except for getting in the water and have food. The beach has been found. It's diamond head in the background, but a lot of people out here. Not really my style. I'll take what I can get, but if you look right over here, right across this little break, oh, not very many people there, so I think we're just gonna hop this little wall here and check it out. All right, let's go see what this is all about. Not bad for a first day on the island, but now I feel like going a little bit deeper, a little bit underground. So we're going to the lava tube. All right, we have arrived at the lava tube. You're gonna love this. the lava tube a few years ago when I was working here. It's attached to the hotel that I was staying and it just checked so many boxes for me all the um, For one, I love a dive bar. 
love I love adventure. I, I love exploring things, and this actually looks like not only a hole in the wall, but it's a hole in the earth, and that really, really, really just makes me happy. It really makes you feel like you're just inside a lava tube. Yeah, it's really awesome. The bar is even like a lava flow, so it's amazing. It's one of the coolest places that I've been. It's like a theme park and a bar. an epic first day on the island. Come on, Foxy. Let's get some rest.